Hello everyone. Today we will learn a very important topic in algebra, quadratic equations. In mathematics, definition plays a very important role, but we tend to give less importance to definitions. So let us look at the definition of quadratic equation. An equation of the form ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 where a, b and c belongs to the set of real numbers and a not equal to 0 is a quadratic equation. Note that in quadratic equation the highest power of the variable is 2. And note that a cannot be 0 because if a is 0 it will not be a quadratic equation anymore it will become a linear equation. So let us look at an example. Root 3x square minus 5x plus 6 equal to 0 is a quadratic equation because a, b and c are all real numbers and a is not equal to 0. Note that from the definition we can say that b or c can be 0 or even b, c both can be 0 and still the equation will be a quadratic equation. Now, we will see that in a quadratic equation there can be maximum two roots. Let us prove that. Let us prove that there can be maximum two roots to the quadratic equation. So we will prove this by contradiction. So let us assume that there are three possible roots to the quadratic equation. And let us call that as P, Q and R. What do we mean by roots of the equation? The roots of the equation mean, in place of x, if I substitute p, my left hand side will be equal to the right hand side. And therefore, we get these three equations. How do I set up these three equations? In place of x, I substitute p. In place of x, I substitute q. And in place of x, I substitute r. And when we substitute p, q and r in the left hand side, we will get 0 because p, q and r are the roots of the equation. Now, in order to eliminate c, we perform equation 1 minus equation 2. And what will we get if we do per equation 1 minus equation 2? a p square minus a q square b p minus b q equal to 0. Note that c gets cancelled out. And if we do the algebra, you will see that here a is common so I can write in the bracket b, p square minus q square here b is common so I can write it as p minus q equal to 0 and we know that p square minus q square is p plus q into p minus q and therefore dividing throughout by p minus q I get a into p plus q plus b equal to 0 Note that I can divide throughout by p minus q because p minus q is not equal to 0. And why p minus q is not equal to 0? Because p and q are distinct roots, which means p is not equal to q. And therefore, we will see that p plus q is equal to minus b divided by a. Call that as number 4. Similarly, if you perform equation 2 minus equation 3, we will get aq square minus ar square. How do we get aq square minus ar square? aq square minus ar square. Plus, we will get bq minus br. And c will cancel out and we will get 0. And performing similar steps, taking a common, dividing throughout by q minus r, Note that again I can divide by q minus r because q and r are distinct roots. Remember that you cannot divide both sides by a zero number. And dividing by q minus r is valid because q minus r is not zero. And we get q plus r is also minus b over a. If you note one thing, when we did p plus q we got minus b over a. When we did q plus r we got minus b over a. And we could divide both sides by a to get q plus r because a is not equal to 0. And a is not equal to 0 by the definition of quadratic equation. So from 4 and 5 we get p plus q is equal to q plus r which means p is equal to r. Which means the, our assumption that there are three distinct roots is wrong because p and r are equal. 
Hence, we can say that we have maximum two roots in the quadratic equation. Hope this helps you to understand quadratic equations. Thanks a lot.